Okay, so uh, I guess we can start. Yes. Limo? Yeah, so hello everyone. We are really excited uh, to be here with you. Uh, my name is Limo, Limo Halfon. Uh, I'm an Agile coach, a mental trainer, and an Ajime partner. Ajime is a consultancy agency uh, located in Israel. And here with me is Michal. Hi, Michal. Hi, so great to see you all here. Uh, Michal Epstein, as Limor said, I'm also an Agile business consultant and a partner at Ajime, uh, also a professional Scrum trainer by Scrum.org and also located in Israel, based in Israel. Uh, <laughs> it's really nice to see you all here. Thank you, thank you for joining us. Uh, in this talk, we will explore uh, the correlation between organization resiliency in times of crisis like the COVID global epidemic and the agility level or maybe a agile maturity level of the organization. When we discuss mm -hmm. agile maturity, we relate mostly not only to the use of different agile practices, but also and mainly uh, to the use of agile practices that are related to the core values of agile and scrum. Yeah. Uh, actually, while working with many organizations, we found out differences in the way they cope with uh, this crisis. Uh, as you can see in this uh, great uh, graphic of uh, our talented uh, partner and uh, graphic facilitations to our workshops, um, we, we saw that uh, actually uh, organizations went home and brought our strengths and weaknesses with more emphasis even while we are working remotely. And there, was a, there were organizations who were in conflict with this situation and didn't accept it. And some are still waiting for it to be over so they can get back to their routines. And, uh, and maybe they thought that the, everything is as usual, but actually they postponed uh, many meetings and planning and uh, improvement of their uh, processes and routines. And others not only accepted it, but even found new opportunities to better collaborate and work together. Maybe you can think where your company is at in this situation. And uh, we found that there is a high correlation between agile mindset and practices, as Michal said, and the effectiveness of uh, working remotely. For example, a company I work with uh, has a multiple uh, business uh, uh, units. And one of the business units is uh, uh, just on the uh, beginning of their agile journey. And uh, one of the managers uh, told me that uh, while working from home, he is highly concerned and need to know what his employees are doing and if they are utilizing their working hours. So he actually felt like uh, losing control. And while losing control, what did he do? He created more Zoom meetings and more status meetings and even joined the team's uh, uh, regular routines more frequent, on a more frequently basis. So there was a lot of overhead also for the teams themselves and for himself. And what do you think it uh, brought to the team? Did it motivate them or demotivate them? Yes. Are you familiar with such? Exactly. Thanks. <laughs> Are you familiar with such uh, behaviors or, or heard of? So actually what we would like to do in such uh, situations is to provide more alignment, more uh, uh, understanding to the teams themselves so they can work in much uh, better autonomy using this uh, alignment, these borders. So uh, we can send them home and to have more decision making inside the team themselves and not relying on management. And we need to understand um, that some managers even got it to install monitoring software. Oh, yes, that's, that's harsh. Wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if we are going back to the Agile Manifesto, as you can see here, uh, one of the highest vehicles that we need is to build project around motivated individuals and give them the environment, the system that support it. And uh, they need the trust, to trust them to do the job. Okay, so we hire people 
let's trust them to, the, and to do the job they need to do. Um, so this is one example. It's actually an example that you can take for a, a two options. I, either it's hold back organization, one we micromanage in this situation, or it can promote us if we give this uh, autonomy and a better alignment uh, for our teams. So what we would like to do now is an exercise that will uh, reflect that. So Michal would like to explain about the exercise. Yeah, so uh, we'll send you uh, the link for the mural. Uh, Shaw, can you send them please again in the chat? Um, so you can all log into the mural and we'll uh, split you into breakout rooms where we would like to invite you to discuss uh, for three minutes, uh, what behavior, like the example that you gave here, this is a, a negative example, but negative or positive examples, and behavior that practice that experience that had impact, again, negative or positive impact on your organization and uh, resiliency and on the team's uh, uh, self-organization and self-management, okay? So mm -hmm. you'll go into the breakout room, go to this part that you see here, uh, please use uh, the notes. Uh, uh, you, you see that we have numbers on the notes for team one, team two. So use the number the same as uh, your uh, room number. So each uh, team will have a different color for the practices that you would like to share with us. Is that clear? Is it and okay? The, the, the team that will bring the most, uh, the, as many examples will be the winner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you, so you better bring many, many examples <laughs> of uh, that you experienced lately. Uh, so we'll share again the, this is again the link to the mural. Okay, so please go ahead. Uh, we have the rooms ready? Yep, all ready. Welcome back. I see that we have a lot of interesting examples. You see all, you all see my screen, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So I see that we all have a very, first of all, we have to say who, uh, what a group, uh, what team were, uh, in the con win, won the contest. So I think it was the orange one, if I'm not mistaken, right? So very good. So we'll be happy <laughs> to, to meet you. I agree. I the... agree. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so we'll be happy to meet you in the scrum.org booth uh, after this uh, lecture uh, for the uh, great prize of talking with us. <laughs> so let's see, so let's see um, uh, some examples that you wrote here. I will not read all of them, but just go through them really quick. Uh, no meetings after 12 p.m., uh, meetings uh, free Fridays, uh, no meetings afternoon, uh, fast adjustment to new WOW. Uh, move to dig digital borders and stand up, uh, trust, 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 which is <laughs> extremely important and everything is based on it's that. Uh, uh, yes, um, make all teams redundant, virtual meeting uh, charter, trust the team to do the right thing, um, align behavior around agile principles, uh, autonomy and ownership, maintain sense of fun and colleague, of course, this is extremely, uh, extremely um, interesting and yeah. true. Um, so all these, and, all and, these and, uh, yes, sorry, go ahead. No, just saying, even if to uh, get back to the example of uh, the, the manager, uh, just you wanted to share about the Scrum values, right? Yeah, so I would then, just before we go back to the example of Limor from, uh, from her previous example, um, it is very interesting to see that uh, there is a great correlation between these behaviors that you just described here and the essence of Scrum, which are the Scrum values that enabling um, high performing teams and more resiliency. So just before correlating more between the behaviors and the, and the agility, let's go through the uh, Scrum values uh, real quick. So um, the Scrum defined five values all based on trust, of course. Uh, so we have the courage, the courage for the team members to take challenges and prevent from lying in their comfort zone to solve pro uh, complex problems, uh, the value of focus, focus on the team goals, uh, commitment, commitment to achieve these goals with respect to time, quality. Hal, the, uh, your notes are hmm? sharing and not the scrum values. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now you can see? Yes. Thank you. So we have the commitment uh, of the team and uh, to uh, 
to uh, show what they are doing and to uh, solve a complex problem. Uh, we have a respect for each other, for the team members, and for other stakeholders in the organization. And of course, uh, the openness, openness to be transparent about the work that they are doing and about the progress that they are doing. So let's see how all of these relates to the, uh, to the examples that you shared and to the examples that Limo shared before. Go ahead, Limo. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. So uh, what we are trying to what we are trying to do here is to correlate between this great behavior and example that you mentioned and the Scrum values. And the reason we uh, find that it is relevant to do this correlation is that actually we see that while we are enabling an agile climate and a better cultural climate, we are having a significant impact on having a self-organizing team and working more effectively from home. So to back to the example of the manager, uh, what can you just think of what kind of uh, value it was highly related to? So I let you think for a minute and share with you that uh, this value as an example is respect, right? You, you said a lot, everything in the Scrum values is based on trust. So trust is highly significant here, but when you respect your team that they are doing their best effort working from home, you can do everything. So let's practice it together again in the breakout rooms. We will break out again for two minutes just to take your notes from the left and put them on the uh, Scrum value circle that you find more mostly relevant for it. Okay? All, all you so need to do is to take the note and just grab it. Uh, to the uh, uh, appropriate, uh, uh, more, more, most appropriate value that you think that is related to this, uh, uh, to this behavior. Is it clear? Is it okay? Great. So we'll take your gate to the breakout room for another two minutes. So I see that you put example. You did. So all of you did not get the message about uh, having one the most impact uh, behavior uh, that you think impacted the the organizational resiliency. Never mind. So uh, we'll skip that, but uh, we'll see that uh, you were able to move most of the nodes uh, to where the uh, to the correct to the uh, most correlated and most uh, related uh, Scrum value. And uh, so when it's tight, when it's really tight, and I see that many some of them are in the positive part, some in the negative part, uh, and we see that there is a strong correlation. And if we are working in real agile culture then it also relates not only to the practices and behavior, but also to the Scrum values. And I would like to uh, share, I would like to share another example that I experienced. Okay, great. So uh, when we have the videos on, so I noticed a strong correlation between organizational resili re resiliency and agile maturity when the cameras of the people uh, of the team from the different organizations if they were most of the time on or off. Um, I saw that organizations that are less engaged, less productive, usually their cameras were off. Even if we tried to ask them several times to put their cameras on, they were not doing that. Uh, they were preventing from doing that. I'm not, of course, talking about Sometimes we have some internet issues and logistics or I don't know, any personal issue. Uh, we respect that, of course, but in general, we saw the teams that were uh, mostly joining meetings with video off were less engaged and less productive. And when they put their videos on, they were more engaged and more productive. And it was very, it was much easier to engage when you actually talk to people, especially in this time. And Limo said in her previous example, they feel less lonely, they feel more together. Uh, and it's really, and you can see also the body language and not only you hear their voice. So it's also yeah. something that is related to high ag agile maturity, um, the, the, only the, the video issue. Um, what do you think? I mean, for mm -hmm. what, uh, this, this kind of behavior, video on and off, uh, what, uh, what values that it, it refers to? You can uh, join, you can share with the, in the chat to what value it refers. It relates. So definitely openness to see what's going on. Anything else? Okay. 
openness and respect, a lot of respect to each other. Yes, you don't know uh, what the person is doing uh, when the camera is off, when the video is off. It's a lot of courage also because we might have issues. Uh, yeah, respect, courage, yes. Uh, yeah. Great, uh, another example. Limon? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, what Michal uh, just mentioned here is part of a uh, thing that we... Can you go to the next slide? Sure. Oh. Uh, something we call the working agreement. I don't know if you're familiar with, but when we are building teams, we would like uh, to set expectations uh, together with our teams. And it's relevant not only in crisis situations or remote conditions, but also when we are all in the same office, but it's even stronger while we are working remotely. We would like to have a working agreement together and understand the, what we expect from each other. For example, uh, if we would like to have our cameras on or off during our conversations. So uh, another uh, um, uh, organization I'm working with really work this out together. And uh, just some example of it, they, for example, uh, took a uh, focus time. They saw that uh, because the only interaction they have is using Zoom, they need more focus time uh, alone uh, and to do the work uh, not only in uh, Zoom. So they preserve an organizational focus time. So they will all get uh, the same alignment for that and each team is, uh, define themselves uh, breaks for example uh, some uh, team rules that if they have a long meetings like uh, sprint planning or pi planning they after 45 minutes they will break and then continue and they, it will enable them a better focus uh, another thing is to get more sensitivity to the fact that we are all working from home and the limits uh, are not uh, the same it's hard to uh, uh, hold them. So uh, we would like to have flexibility in working hours and to limit our working hours. Uh, another thing is to uh, think about uh, the communication and how to visualize our work together. So uh, in remote communication, we would like even better to use our visualization boards and to have our burn down chart, for example, or our, our Kanban board or Scrum board and to use Miro and Twins and so forth. So uh, it is about how we would like to share information, which tools do we want uh, to use, how we expect our communication to be, our response time in each media, and how we would like to collaborate together. And of course, uh, this is something that is strongly related to commitment and focus. Uh, so, Thank you, Nimor. So another example, we are, uh, we are almost out of time, so we'll do it uh, relatively quickly. Um, so one manager I interviewed, for example, he was willing to expose himself for this conference uh, and told me uh, that whenever he had Zoom meetings with his team, he always put his camera on. And in the very first meeting with the team, he told them, look, please look behind me. You see, we have my kids there, my dog there, and all my mess is out there, so please, um, uh, don't apologize if you need to take care of a baby or of a toddler, if you need to uh, go, out, uh, go out for a second, or if you have uh, a little noise in behind you, of, or, or, or of course you have to respect uh, the meeting and the people, but we all in the same position now, we all have families that we have to take care of, it's fine, you don't have to hide, uh, to hide between, and I think it created, again, if you want to share, uh, what, uh, what kind of uh, values is this relates to, uh, this kind of behaviors? <laughs> My kids uh, don't exactly. know what for all the meetings. <laughs> yeah, so that's right. Um, so it relates to, of course, to openness, a lot of courage, a lot of trust between the team and the managers. And, um, and uh, so it creates a, yeah, a vulnerability is, is out there and then the team uh, delivers and act much better during this time. Of course, another issue is that the usage of the Scrum routines, Scrum events, and the tools are getting much more emphasis and impact on these times because it's easier uh, to come up with a framework that holds us together, even from remote, uh, that we are already used to it. 
and we use the tool where they have higher, even higher impact uh, with transparent, uh, with making the, our work and progress transparent uh, when we are away. Uh, so just to summarize. Yes, so uh, uh, we, sh we saw a lot of examples here and you uh, really, uh, sh thank you for sharing yours. It was uh, highly significant and I think that you can go back to this board uh, if you'd like and see what uh, you can take uh, from here forward and see what you would like to dive into uh, because it can impact uh, uh, your organization and your working from home and even better. You can join us in our booth for that as well, if you'd like. Uh, yes, there is a high correlation between mature agile teams and organizational resilience, only by the practices and routines, but by enabling this agile climate and basing on the Scrum values. So thank you for joining us. It was a pleasure to uh, share this with you and you are welcome to join us in our uh, booth. And the scrub.org booth will be there in just a few minutes. So looking forward. Thank you. Thank you. Hope it was uh, Thank you very much. a value Thank for you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a great Thank day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.